Welcome to beautiful Montreal, Quebec. We're here to check out the brand new 2024 Hyundai Kona. All right, so this is all new. This new Kona is on a brand new platform. It's a lot bigger. We're gonna get to dimensions in a second. Look at this front end though. It is sleek. Even though it has a grill, it doesn't even look like it has a grill. You can't miss the signature light bar that goes straight across here. Everything is pulled right to the edges. You got the LED headlamps right on the edges. It gives it a really hunkered down look. This vehicle is one inch wider than the previous model actually. We have active aero here coming around to the side. By the way, this is ultimate red for this color and this is the end line as you can see from the badging. Lots of black accents, 19 inch wheels on this end line. If you go for the base model, you get 17 inch, but, but everything else gets 18 inch wheels. So size wise, this vehicle has been stretched almost six inches longer. The wheelbase is also over two inches longer as well. And that's gonna really help, not for just drive comfort, but also for interior space. And overall, I think it really has a Tucson-like look in there, that DNA. You have the, the big Q squared off wheel arches, all those geo curves and creases there. But look at this back though. You can't miss the big, huge black wing on this end line. We have a wiper. End line also comes with the dual exhaust tips. They have some nice design to them and then a nice kind of like a sporty rear valence. Now in Canada, we do not get a power lift gate. It's not available, but in other markets, it is available. When you open up the back here, you're greeted with a lot bigger space. It's 33% larger than the outgoing model. Here's a couple other things that are kind of cool, is this rear deck lid here, if you don't want it or it's in the way, you can take it down and there is a storage spot for it. And if you actually lift up the bottom floor, there's no spare tire, there is a tire mobility kit, but you can also use that for storage. You get 723 liters of cargo area, fold down the rear seat and you get 1,803 liters, so tons and tons of room. Let's go for a drive. Woo! Full send off in the brand new 2024 <laughs> Hyundai Kona. Not we have bad. a special guest in the kill captain seat. Marcus from Roads Untraveled, fellow YouTuber. Make sure to check out his channel, especially when you want to see uh, car reviews and a lot of tuner stuff. So this is the guy you want to watch. How's it going, guys? Yeah, so we are in the eastern townships uh, outside of Montreal. Roads are beautiful with this new Kona and sitting in here wow what a difference this interior is compared to the outgoing model it really reminds me a lot of my own ionic like some of the switch gear feels the same it's a little bit different of course but standard now 12.3 inch times two screens here you even have this little pad thing like the ionic does i don't know if you can put some uh, magnetic items on there this is the end line so we have all this these red, red accents, accents. yeah uh, on the we, seats too yep on the seats uh they've also changed the shifter no more it's shift by wire now on the column and what that's allowing is is a way more openness in this center area here um you have this big trough rotating cup holders hilarious <laughs> you should throw in the slow-mo video you got earlier of the cup snapping the cup into place yeah yeah so really cool so uh usb c's and one thing that's different i've never seen this before so you have two usb c's up front and the one on the left you can press a button and you can select it to either be purely power only or power and uh, data transfer to use for your CarPlay, for instance. Now, speaking of CarPlay, with the 12.3 inch screens, if you get the end line with the ultimate package, that comes with navigation. And with Navi, you don't get wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. You actually have to plug in. Yeah, that's a big miss. It is a big opinion. miss, yeah. you know, but they say that they're working on it. But if you do get 
Right now, we are driving the N line, but it doesn't have the ultimate uh, trim. Like in the US, you don't get the N line or the ultimate, you, you would just go into the limited. Uh, but if you have no navigation, then you get wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, which we have right now. So it's a pretty big bonus, I, I'd say. Uh, the graphics are good. They've changed the processor. Uh, they say it, it's much quicker right now. Uh, if you go for the Ultimate Package, though, you also get uh, an upgraded Bose stereo system. You get the 360 surround camera, which is, I love that thing. Yeah. Um, and um, overall, the cabin feels really spacious. Remember, this is a, it's a, this is a subcompact. And mm -hmm. yeah, look at, look, you know, we're big, we're big huge. guys, right? Uh, right? We're huge, and we have, we have lots tons of, of room. Tons of room. Yeah. Tons and tons of room. We have a Long power room. sunroof with a, um, a sun visor as well. Lots of storage in front of Marcus. There, you have this yeah, kind of little ledge. storage tray up here. Now you were I, mentioning it, what, the, you know, what is it? What is it missing there? Well, it would be nice if they. I've seen a few other vehicles do this, where they have kind of a rubber inset or mm -hmm. an inlay in there that's a little bit more grippy. You could put a phone or some other objects there that aren't going to sl like slide back and forth, which it would here. Seat wise, N line gets leather seats with inserts, real leather, but the other ones you do get leatherette and it's just as good apparently as the leather. It's getting the technology is getting better and better and even use of recycled materials is good. Overall really sporty. I really like it and especially like it even the knurled volume knob love that yes I, I absolutely love absolutely that. love that's way better than, than buttons so another new thing up from the base model you get standard digital key yes so that you know normally you find that on high, much higher premium uh, brands but guess what you have your phone you pair it pair it up you can use it as a key or you can transfer and go hey you know it's like hey marcus go pick my car up and exactly. I can just send him authorization and he can just use his phone as a key. And unlock it. That's that's amazing. Yes. That's really cool, especially at this price point with the Kona. I, even though you do have to go up a couple trim levels, I love that feature. But at least they're not making you buy the top trim to get mm -hmm. that. And that's usually the case in, in a lot of cases. Uh, now, in the back seat, more room. First of all, we have the longer wheelbase and it's wider, this vehicle. So they've carved out 30% of the actual seat and it gives you more room. You have three inches more leg room in this new Kona than the outgoing model. Uh, you know, lots of, lots of room. Once again, small SUV, remember that. Seat wise, do you have power? No, I definitely don't, do you? No, nope, no, nope. oh, manual okay. adjustments comfortable seats so uh, they're heated we have a heated steering wheel if you go into the ultimate that's that's where you get some power plus you actually have ventilated seats as well on that now power the power <laughs> so two power trains there's the base two liter and that puts out 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque and now that's matched to their IVT which is their continuously variable transmission and then you get on the end line here in Canada, 1.6 liter turbocharged engine and puts out 190 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque, which is class leading for this type of vehicle. Uh, another big change that they did though, they have went away with the DCT, the dual clutch transmission, and they went to a conventional eight speed automatic. And yeah, it might not be quite as engaging to drive, but for everyday driving, I think it's the right thing to do. It's a, it's a little bit less jerky in, in uh, low speed driving. You know, when you're going to the grocery store and parking lots of stuff, it's just, it's a little bit nicer, I think. Yeah. And I, I don't think a, a vehicle like this needs a DCT. I know, I agree with you. And the DCT was good, especially when you're talking about something like the Veloster N or the Kona N, because yeah, at the higher ends of speed and when you're really driving hard, then it, it outperforms the eight speed but here yeah it's a lot smoother at kind of lower speed stuff which is nice yeah uh, and then so the end line comes standard as all wheel drive if you go below the end line uh it's front wheel drive but you can add all wheel drive in as an option it's two thousand bucks so not too bad uh, obviously we have a pretty decent day out here uh there's no there's <laughs> the roads are dry and no snow yet out here in Quebec, but you can uh, go and there is a snow mode and you can also lock the wheels up, which is a nice thing. It's one button, just boom, and it locks up. So we have three different drive modes. We have normal, we have sport, and we have snow. We're in sport mode right now, and it feels pretty good. 
you know, once again, it's it's no it's no Veloster no. and it's no <laughs> Kona N, mm -hmm. but maybe that may be coming later for the Kona N. Uh, I had a chance to drive the current version on the track. Uh, man, that was a lot of fun. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't already. I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. So final thoughts, what do you think, Marcus? I think it's great. Again, I haven't driven a Kona since 2019, so it's even more of a leap, especially on the interior here. They've brought over the dual 12.3 inch screens as standard, which is huge. That's a big point for me, especially for the price. Um, I'm hoping that a future N, a fully fledged N series Kona comes out. But of course the Ionic 5N is gonna be incredibly exciting. But I mean, overall a daily package that still has ground clearance, extra leg room, I, I think it's great, especially for the money. Yeah. yeah, you know, and if you want even more performance without the N, there is the Kona Electric coming soon, built off of the same platform. I guarantee it's gonna have a lot more zip than this, which this <laughs> does have decent zip. It's more than enough, I think, you know, Hyundai listened to what their consumers wanted. They wanted bigger. They gave them bigger. You know, they, they, they wanted some, a smoother ride. We have the eight-speed automatic transmission now. You know, everything is done so well. It's so updated. It's way newer than even my Ionic 5 in, in the technology side. Uh, I, I even like how they have the screen. It's, it's integrated into one continuous screen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just more room, more comfort, more everything. And, uh, and all-wheel drive, which a lot of Canadians really like. So mm -hmm. I think uh, it is Hyundai Canada's best-selling nameplate, and I think it's definitely going to continue that trend with this new Kona, hands down. That's it from myself and Marcus from somewhere in Quebec now. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out Roads Untraveled. Thank you. Thanks for having me out. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Don't forget, like and subscribe.